the makers of Coldwater Omo. Your death is already arranged, Mr. Steed. It'll be violent, but quite painless. Go with Shaw. Go where? Do as the master instructs, Mr. Steed. Uh, come with me. Yes, but I don't... Uh, no I don't more questions, please. Not till it's over. Trust us. You have to, anyway. You're in our hands now. Go with Shaw. On a street corner some little time later, Shaw guided Steed by the elbow. This way, Steed. Now! Shaw suddenly grabbed Steed by the shoulder and shoved him in the path of an oncoming van. Next stop, Paradise. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Final episode of this story in which John Steed joins the underground movement and Emma Peel helps him to bring about the end of the mystery and arrest several dead men on... A Grave Charge. Steed had traveled the same path as Captain Cordell in his investigation into the mysterious deaths of several well-known shady financiers. He realized that Bagpipe's happy chap of Happy Meadows was as innocent as he was ignorant of any chicanery. Through a clue given to him by Mrs. Jupp, widow of Jonathan Jupp, Steed had called at Mystic Tours. He'd been interviewed by Shaw and introduced to a bogus mystic called simply The Master. The Master had fleeced Steed of a third of his money and arranged his death at the hands of Shaw. Of course, Mother and Mrs. Peel were ignorant of all this, and as time passed, they became increasingly anxious about Steed's silence. Unlike Steed? Yes. He's usually so talkative. Never stop the man pestering me. Yes. Mrs. Peel reached for a telephone directory and paged through it. The whole blasted case is out of control. Never made sense, not right from the beginning. Should never have allowed myself to be talked into it. Yes. Look, Mrs. Peel, would you have the consideration to listen to me when I'm meandering? I might as well talk to myself and have an intelligent conversation. Oh, sorry, Mother. Ah, this must be it. What are you doing? I'm looking up Mrs. Jonathan Jupp's telephone number. It's only an idea, but it's better than doing nothing. Don't you agree? Mrs. Peel dialed the number and, to her surprise, got straight through. Yes, this is Mrs. Jupp speaking. Mrs. Jupp, have you had a Mr. Steed to see you lately? Oh, uh, well, yes, yes, I have. Uh, why do you ask? I wanted to know if he said where he was going after he left you. Oh, well, sir, I wouldn't know for sure. Well, as we say in the profession, could you give me an educated guess? Um, Any ideas? Well, we did talk about the fact that my dear husband, my dear Lee, husband was negotiating with Mystic Tours. Uh, perhaps he may have gone on to their offices. Mystic Tours? Could be. Thank you, Mrs. Jupp. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Don't risk it, Mrs. Peel. You don't think so, Mother? Whatever tour you take, it'll only lead to one place. Do a day tour. Go straight to the center. Happy Meadows. I've been there. Spent the whole night there. Didn't get me anywhere. Well, happy chap won't be very happy to see me. What does that matter? People are dying to get in there. Go. Happy chap was at that moment extremely happy. He was issuing instructions to the two old retainers, old Tom and Bob. 
There, there, you see. Now, Mr. Steed is dead. Thank goodness. Ah, he looks it, Mr. Happy Lad. Uh, I mean, Mr. Happy Man. He does, too. He is. Now, we aren't going to have any more of this silly nonsense. Mr. Steed has caused a great deal of trouble. He must now be buried quietly once and for all. Irrevocably, absolutely, and with no question of doubt. Ah. That's right. Segment 69. Paradise. Old Tom and Bob went about their duties. Eh. Eh. Well, Mr. Happy Feller is pleased enough to bury his mistakes. Right. But, Bob, we don't pack the earth in too hard, eh? Just in case they want him up again. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Mrs. Peel knew John Steed better than anyone alive or dead. She was frankly unimpressed. Impossible. I tell you, Mrs. Peel, that it is so. I can take you to the grave. I mean, there's no mistake. We don't make mistakes at Happy Meadows. What about the empty graves of John Ash, George and Tony Barter, Patrick Vernon, Jonathan Jupp? Don't they count as mistakes? Yes, well, well, of course, they're unaccountable. I mean, but there was the case of Captain Peter Cordell... At least we proved he is dead. Yes, and that's just what worries me. Steve may die the same death. I'm sorry, Mr. Happy Chap, but I shall have to insist. No, 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 I positively refuse. I will not allow it. I won't. But, again, a short time later... <laughs> oh. Ah, that's it. Now then, to you, Bob. Uh, to me, Tom. Look at Phil. All this will cause you considerable pain. I do beg of We've you. We've got this far. Let's continue to the death. Now, please, Mrs. Peel. There. You can see for yourself. There he is. There he isn't. No, Steed. I, I... I don't feel well at all. Well, if he isn't here, where the devil is he? <laughs> Steed, at that moment, was in a large, well-appointed room that looked like everybody's idea of an upper-class nightclub. More to drink, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, never mind. Boggle. I wonder what it would have been like if I'd led a completely blameless life. Not any better than this. I think I've spent all those years being careful. Now, this is really living. Don't you mean dying? Jeff. Uh, you know me? Um, well, of course, I've seen photographs uh, in the papers, of course. And I was in finance myself, you know. Saw you in the city several times. I suppose it is possible. Yes. Well, Mr. Steed, how do you like paradise? Unimprovable, Mr. Sean. Tell me, uh, how did I get here? That was my part of the bargain, Mr. Steed. From out of the happy throng, the master appeared. I said I had one genuine talent. Is that that of being able to suspend animation. You were lightly bumped in a street accident, just long enough to render you unconscious, but the world thinks you've been killed. After all, there was no pulse, breathing had ceased, your body temperature was below that necessary to sustain life, an illusion I created. To all intents and purposes, you were dead and buried. But where are we? Oh, look above you. Steed looked up and saw several neat trapdoors in the cement ceiling. It suddenly became clear. We're under Paradise Plot. Exactly. These rooms run directly under Happy Meadows. The trapdoors lead up into the graves. It's just as easy to get down here as it is to get buried up there. Simple, isn't it, Mr. Steed? Relax. There'll be no one chasing you down here. Enjoy yourself, Mr. Steed. I shall. Well, Jupp, uh, uh, tell me more. I suppose you pop out once in a while, upstairs, I mean? You join the outside world? Oh, no, never, never. Well, don't you get just the teeniest bit curious as to what's going on up there? They don't allow it. They reckon two years is about right to let things cool off. Two years? Yes, yes. That's how long we have to stay here. I, I mind you. <laughs> when you think of what I live behind, they don't care one little bit. <laughs> It was at that point that Steed felt something fall onto his head. He brushed his hair with his hand. It was earth. Steed climbed onto a chair and examined the trap door. A small trickle of soil filtered through the crack. Someone was digging away at it. It's got to be her. Only Mrs. Peel will try to get into paradise by such hunt. 
the hand means. What do you think you're doing, Steed? Uh, just uh, learning about life and death. We can teach you far more about the latter, dear boy. I knew there was something I didn't like about you. Or perhaps the cut of my shroud. We cannot take any chances, Mr. Steed. You must appreciate that. I'm afraid, old chap, we shall have to kill you. But you've already done that once. And I'm alive and kicking. No, that's to uh, shut off the chair and kick Shaw in a vulnerable part of his anatomy. No! The master lunged forward with a gun. Steve engaged him. The roof fell in, literally, for Mrs. Peel came down through the trapdoor. Ah! All right, Steve, let's get them. Up above, with their feet firmly planted on the earth, old Tom and Bob watched with wonderment. Uh, is she be gone now? Uh, you know what I reckon, Bob? After all these years, I reckon we be in the wrong job. They necessary. Dead-end job. At that moment, Mrs. Peel arrived. She headed the procession back from Paradise. Shaw, Jupp, and the Master, with their hands up, followed by Steve with a gun. Mr. Happy Chap, who had fainted, was being fanned back to life with old Tom's shovel. Ah, he be coming round now. Aye, be getting to his feet. Come along now, Mr. Happy Boy. Oh, happy fellow. Uh, oh, come on now, get going. Look alive there. Look alive. Well, I... I don't believe it. I don't... Oh, this job will be the death of me. Oh, no. Oh. Unfortunately, Mr. Happy Chap, who was standing too near the grave, fainted once again. Uh, shall we, old Tom? Ah, uh, may as well. in Steed's apartment that night, Mother proposed a toast. To the late John Steed, career resurrected, dead on time. The Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Coldwater Omen.